This is an excerpt from Beyond Death's Door by Maurice Rawlings. They were rushing me from the emergency room to the intensive care unit because of my chest pain. They told me it was a heart attack. In the elevator, I felt my heart stop and I stopped breathing and thought, this is it. The next thing I remember was looking down on my body in the intensive care unit. I don't know how I got there, but they were working on me. There was this young doctor in a white coat and two nurses and a black fellow in a white uniform, and he was doing most of the work on me. This black fellow was shoving down on my chest and someone else was breathing for me and they were yelling to get this and get that. I learned later that this black fellow was a male nurse on the ward. I have never seen him before. I even remember the black bow tie he was wearing. Next thing I remember was going through this dark passage. I didn't touch any of the walls. I emerged out into an open field and was walking toward a big white wall, which was very long. It had three steps leading up to the doorway in the wall. On the landing above the stairs sat a man clothed in a robe that was dazzling white and glowing. His face had a glowing radiance also. He was looking down into a big book, studying. As I approached him, I felt a great reverence and asked him, Are you Jesus? He said, No, you will find Jesus and your loved ones beyond that door. After he looked in his book, he said, You may go on through. And then I walked through the door and saw on the other side this beautiful, brilliantly lit city reflecting what seemed to be the sun's rays. It was all made of gold or some shiny metal with domes and steeples in beautiful array. And the streets were shining, not quite like marble, but made of something I have never seen before. There were many people all dressed in glowing white robes with radiant faces. They looked beautiful. The air smelled so fresh. I have never smelled anything like it. There was a background of music that was beautiful, heavenly music, and I saw two figures walking toward me, and I immediately recognized them. They were my mother and father. Both had died years ago. My mother was an amputee, and yet that leg was now restored. She was walking on two legs. I said to my mother, you and father are beautiful. And they said to me, you have the same radiance and you are also beautiful. As we walked along together to find Jesus, I noticed there was one building larger than all of the others. It looked like a football stadium with an open end to the building where a blinding light radiated from it. I tried to look up at the light, but I couldn't. It was too brilliant. Many people seemed to be bowed in front of this building in adoration and prayer. I said to my parents, what is that? They said, in there is God. I will never forget it. I have never seen anything like it. We walked on as they were taking me to see Jesus, and we passed many people. All of them were happy. I have never felt such a sense of well-being. As we approached the place where Jesus was located, I suddenly felt this tremendous surge of electricity through my body as if someone had hit me in the chest. My body arched upward as they were defibrillating my heart, but I was not too happy to come back. However, I knew I had been sent back to tell others about this experience. I plan to dedicate the rest of my life to telling anyone who will listen.